Hello, welcome. I'm so glad you could join us to learn about God's Word today. Let's begin in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And let's start by praying the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I want to start by showing you a picture. Look at these kids. They look like really good friends, and they're having a great time together, aren't they? Do you have a really good friend like they do? My best friend and I have been friends since we were nine years old. Maybe you have that kind of friend at school, at church, or in your neighborhood. It's fun to have a friend. You can play together, learn together, laugh together, and do all kinds of things together. It just makes life a little better to have a good friend. Having a good friend is a special gift from God. In our Bible lesson today, we're going to learn about two good friends, David and Jonathan and how they were a blessing to each other and to other people as well. God gives us friends to take care of us and to encourage us, but it's not just a one-way street. If you have a friend, it also means that you care for and encourage that person. Friendship is a two-way street. You each care for and encourage each other. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul made many friends on his missionary journeys. They encouraged one another in their faith, sometimes, they even were thrown in jail together for believing in Jesus. Later, Paul wrote a letter to his friends in the Philippian church. He tells them this. He says, I thank God in all my remembrances of you. I hold you in my heart, for you are all partakers with me of grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness. Now I yearn for you all with the affection of Christ Jesus. Do you hear how Paul talks about his friends at Philippi? He encouraged them before he left, but now he expresses how he was encouraged by them. And at the end of the letter, he leaves them some encouraging words in the kind of a prayer that we still use in the church today. These words are an encouragement for us even now. And they go like this. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God gives us friends and he gives us friends as friends to one another so we can encourage one another in Christ. We can remind one another of God's love. We can tell our friends about Jesus, about how God became a man who lived a sinless life and then he died on the cross and rose again to defeat sin and Satan and do it all for us. He's amazing. Our Bible verse today is from Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. It says, a friend loves at all times, and no friend loves us like Jesus, our very best friend. Let's close with prayer. Dear God, thank you for the gift of friendship in our lives. Help us to encourage one another in the love of Christ every day. In his name we pray. Amen.